Hi guys and welcome to Ribbons Boutique. Today's tutorial is going to be on how to make a classic boutique style bow. This particular bow that we are going to make today is going to measure out to be about 4 inches long. The material you're going to need for this tutorial is your ribbon. You're going to need one and a half inch grill grain ribbon that comes on a spool like this. This is actually one from Hobby Lobby and um, it's one of the bigger ribbons and um, you're going to need to cut that out to be 22 inches long. You're also going to need a 3 8 inch ribbon cut out to be 4 inches long. We're going to use this one to put in the center of our bow. You also need another piece of ribbon. It could be the same as this one or a different one, whatever you choose. I chose to go with a solid color, but you need 3 8 inch grow grain ribbon cut out to be 4 inches long as well and this is what we're going to use to line our alligator clip with. You're also going to need a pair of scissors to cut your ribbon, a lighter to heat seal the ends of your ribbon. You're going to need your alligator clip, and this is optional here. This is if you would um, like to put this in with your alligator clip to help prevent it from sliding out of little girl's hair. It's just a gripper. If you have any questions on where you buy this, just leave it in a comment below. You're also going to need needle and thread or embroidery floss. I like to use embroidery floss because it's a lot thicker than thread. It doesn't snap whenever you're tugging and pulling. You also need to tie a double knot at the end and the thread that I, or not the thread, I'm sorry, the needles that I use is actually the embroidery needles and it looks like this in the package. I actually purchased this at Walmart for a couple dollars and you get 12 needles in there. They come in different sizes and that works really well with the embroidery floss because it's thicker and the holes for you to put the floss through is a lot wider. You're also going to need a ruler to measure out your ribbon or tape measure. And you're also going to need a hot glue gun. So to get started, what we're going to do is move some of this out of the way. You want to cut your one and a half inch ribbon out to be 22 inches long. Then you want to heat seal your ends with the lighter. I've already done so with mine. All that does is it prevents it from fraying or unraveling. You just take your lighter or a wood burner and you just lightly run it across the ends of your ribbon until you feel it seal. You can actually see um, it's a little bit thicker at the ends and you can actually feel it as well once it has sealed. So what we're going to do with our long ribbon is we're going to fold it in half, like this. We have two open ends together. And then up here, we are going to crease it. So push that down as hard as you can. This way, whenever we open it, you will see a crease, because this is going to act as our guide. So when we open it, you will see your crease. So what you want to do is you want to take one end of your ribbon, and this is actually called the butterfly fold. This is the easiest way for me to fold a boutique bow. You're going to take your ribbon, and without fold, like folding it over anything, you're going to actually just bring it around like this. And you're going to lay it on top of this crease, just like this. So you see, I did not fold it at all. I just brought it around, and I'm placing it in the center of our crease. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do the same with this long end of ribbon that we've got left. We're going to bring it around, and we're going to lay it on top of this one. And at this point, it'll form a figure eight. Then what you want to do is you're going to take one end of your loops and you're going to bring them towards the center, like this. Place it right down there in the center. And you will already see your bow is forming two loops. 
And then you're going to do the same with this side also. Just lay it over the top. Make sure it's even. Make sure your loops are even as well. You can turn it over to make sure. Now this is going to be the back of our ribbon and this one is actually going to be the front. So what we're going to do is you're going to place your thumb in the center where it crosses right here and hold it really good and you're going to start making creases. We're going to start folding down the middle. So you're going to hold it with your thumb and you're going to take this side and you're going to push it towards your thumb while you fold down and then hold that crease and then we're going to do this bottom part up like that see like this and then we're going to fold down we're going to fold up one more time and back down and we will have three folds one two three make sure you hold that tightly now because what we're going to do is we're going to take our needle and embroidery floss and some of you may want to use a thimble for this point because we got to push it through all of this ribbon which is really thick and you don't want to pierce the end of your thumb so I'm pretty used to it so I don't have to use a thimble but um, you just push it through the center all the way through and I actually find that pushing down on the floor helps and your needle will go through like this And then you're going to pull it through. There we go. Alrighty. So once we pull it through, the knot is going to catch it. And then we are going to wrap it around twice. So we're going to go one, two times. And then we're going to tie it off. I like to tie mine off a good two times to make sure it's secure. And once you have got your needle and floss tied off, you're going to cut off the extra strings. And then turn your bow over and just kind of open it up. you will see we have made a classic boutique bow. It's made within minutes. Now if any of you need to stop this video and go back to see how we did this to take your time because I'm not new at this so I've been making these for a while so um, I'm pretty quick so if I'm too fast for you just go back and rewind. And like I said this here is about a let's see Approximately a good three or four inch bow. About a three and a half, four inch bow. What we're going to do now is we're going to take our ribbon, our four inch piece. I chose my pattern one. If you want to, you can choose a coordinating color, just plain orange, or you could do white, whatever color you choose. And we are going to now place this in the center of our bow so that we hide this floss. So what we're going to do is we're going to place a dab of glue right here in the center on top of our bow. And then you're going to take your floss, or not your floss, I'm sorry, your ribbon, and you're going to place it there in the center. Hold that down. And be careful because that hot glue is really hot. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to bring it around the back. See how that looks? We're going to bring it around the back. 
and where our two ends are open, we're going to cut off this extra because we're not going to need all that to fold over the back. And then you want to heat seal those ends, which my lighter is not going to work for me. Okay, there we go. All right, I'm going to place a dab of glue right there in the center where the floss is. Fold one end down. And then we're going to do the same with the other side. Squeeze it, make sure it's together. Get this glue off my fingers. Okay, so now we have got the center of our bow tied off and covered with our center piece of ribbon. Now what we want to do is we're going to go on ahead and line our alligator clip. I showed you guys how to do that in my previous video and we'll go ahead and do it again for just practice. So I'll put this over here and we're going to use our other piece of four inch ribbon and we're going to line. So what you want to do is you want to take about a good inch end of your ribbon and just place a dot of glue down the center. And then we're going to take our alligator clip, we're going to open it up, and the glue is going to go flush with the top of our alligator clip here. Just like that. So the hot glue is up here at the top. Now what we're going to do is place a line of glue going from here all the way down. We're going to fold our ribbon over this glue that we just put on there. Press it on. Make sure both ends are even. You don't have one side sticking out further than the other. And then turn your clip over and place just a dot of glue right here on the back. And just bring the rest of your ribbon over. And you have a partial lined alligator clip. Now what we will do is we'll take our bow and we're going to turn it over to the back and we're going to place a dot of glue right here or if you would choose you can place a dot of glue on the fully lined end of the alligator clip. Just like I did there. And you'll take your clip and you're going to press it against the back of your bow. And hold it until it's good and stuck on there. Okay, so now we have our clip on the back of our boutique bow. Now what we want to do is go ahead and place our no slip grip if this is something that you choose to put on your clips. It's totally optional, but I found that it helps, like I mentioned, to keep the hair bows and the clips in your little girl's hair. So what we're going to do is we're going to place a dot of glue on the inside of our clip right here where all of our ribbon is on this alligator clip. And you don't need a lot, but just enough so that our gripper will stick on there real good. And just place it in there. And keep this open. Do not let it close down while you're putting the glue in there because if you do, it'll actually close shut and it'll never come back open. 
Okay, and it's not sticking, that's how I like to test it. Um, so it's on there.